I've given this two or three more days before coming on here and talking about this again. I've given it some time because, one, this entire story was ridiculous to begin with, and two, I have been waiting on two words from the Colorado Rockies. Two words that wouldn't have made what they did any better or more acceptable, but two words that it would have at least shown they were cognizant about the actions that they took. All they had to say were two words. We're sorry. That's it. That's all it would have taken. It's the least the Colorado Rockies could have done for doing something that could have potentially ruined a man's life. A grandfather who was just trying to get the attention of your mascot to get a picture taken with his grandchildren. Who knew that in 2021, being a good grandfather could get you labeled as a racist? An apology from the Colorado Rockies, at least it would have shown that they cared enough to apologize, and it would have acknowledged that maybe, maybe they learned a lesson. The lesson being, you don't overreact, you don't rush to judgment to things that you see on woke Twitter. I used to be on Twitter all the time. I do use it more now during football season than the rest of the year, but I used to really enjoy Twitter all the time until it was taken over by the far left. Just like with everything else they touch, the far left has ruined Twitter, just like they've ruined Facebook. It has been four days now since the incident that happened with the Rockies fan and the Rockies rushing to judgment. And they have yet to apologize. Why? Why have we not gotten an apology from the Colorado Rockies? They issued a statement Sunday night, Monday morning, telling the world that the fan was actually saying dinger instead of the N-word like he was accused of. Hell, we all knew that already. We didn't have to be told. You didn't have to tell us. We could all see and hear that for ourselves. Well, besides Lewis Brinson, of course, who is still parading around, trying to extend his 15 minutes of fame. We'll get to him in just a second. But why have the Colorado Rockies not apologized to this fan? Because the woke never admit to any wrongdoing. What do I say on here all the time? They never let facts get in the way of pushing the agenda. The Rockies allowed themselves to get swept up in the agenda, and in their statement, instead of apologizing, they took the typical route. The Colorado Rockies are committed to providing an inclusive environment to all fans. We are dedicated to prohibiting racial slurs. Does this really need to be said? Isn't all of that kind of understood? Goes without saying? It's kind of like the sign at the top of the Sears Tower or the Empire State Building. When you're standing up on the top of either one of those buildings, looking over Chicago or New York City, then you look over and you see that sign that says, no jumping. Pretty sure uh, I didn't have to be told not to jump off a 100 plus story building. Just like I don't have to be told not to use a racial slur at a Major League Baseball game. I told you guys the Rockies' poor mascot would be getting a name change soon. Lewis Brinson is pushing for this to happen. This dude's desperate to keep his 15 minutes of fame going. And I get it. Look, I get it. The attention, it can be addictive. It really can. But just like most on the far left, Lewis Brinson, he doesn't want to accomplish anything to be famous. He would rather be a famous victim instead. He is still claiming that he hears the fans say the N-word on that video, which means Lewis Brinson is the only person in the country who hears the audio that way. Everyone else pretty much on the same page. The guy is yelling dinger. According to an article posted to TMZ yesterday, Lewis Brinson says not only should the Colorado Rockies change the name of their mascot, it is also time to retire the word dinger. Here we find ourselves again, banning another word from the English language so no one gets offended. They're saying the word dinger should be retired because it sounds too much like the N-word. All right, well, while we're at it, we might as well go ahead and retire other words too that when yelled from a baseball stadium on television 
could remotely resemble the N-word and offend somebody. Sorry, Bill Simmons. Gonna have to retire the word ringer. Might as well add singer to the list. That could be misconstrued as well. Linger, zinger, finger. Before you know it, we'll all be using sign language to eliminate the possibility of hurting anyone's feelings. Then you have Tony Collins, the Sports Center anchor, coming out and saying that she didn't say the N word on national television by mistake Monday on Sports Center. Nah, you didn't hear that. She actually said digger instead. It was strange. There was no controversy with this mistake, no outcry from Stephen A. Smith, Jamel Hill. It's obvious what she said. It's also obvious that it was a mistake. It slipped out. I'm not mad at her for saying it. I just find it odd that someone at ESPN wrote the word dinger into the script, not even 24 hours after the incident with the Rockies. A staff writer at SportsCenter literally wrote that word dinger into the script. Why? I wonder why. I actually feel bad for Tony Collins because it seems to me she was set up. She's just reading off a teleprompter. You would figure with ESPN bending over backwards to not offend anyone, Dinger would be the last word they put in the script on Monday. Anyway, I think it is absolutely abhorrent that it has been three, four days and the Rockies have still not apologized to the fan they accused of using a racial slur. If you're going to accuse someone of something like that publicly and then be wrong about it, the least you should do is apologize to them publicly. All right, let me know what you think of the Rockies not apologizing to that grandfather. Also, what do you think of Lewis Brinson continuing to push the notion that the fans said the N-word? Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.